A stunning shift is unfolding in the battery world. CL, the global leader in lithium batteries, has dropped a bombshell. Nearly half of the future battery market could be powered not by lithium, but by sodium. That's the twist. Because if anyone should be championing lithium, it's CL. Yet the biggest name in lithium production is now betting big on an alternative. And that alone tells us lithium's dominance may not be as unshakable as once believed. Sodium ion batteries bring a lot to the table. Performance that rivals lithium at a fraction of the cost with salt being far more abundant and accessible. It's no wonder CL and others are pushing toward mass production. But the big question hangs in the air. Will sodium truly spark the next energy revolution? Or will it forever remain in lithium's shadow? CL isn't just another player. It's the undisputed giant holding nearly 40% of the global market as of 2023. With that kind of influence, their vision of the future isn't just speculation, it's a roadmap the industry takes seriously. In a headline-making interview with readers in late 2024, CL co-founder Robin Zen flipped the script on battery hire. Instead of backing solid state as the next big thing, he doubled down on sodium ion, boldly predicting it could capture up to half of the market CL already dominates. And this isn't just torque. CL has already cracked the code on integrating sodium batteries into its innovative hybrid packs, blending lithium and sodium cells to stretch the range of electric vehicles further than ever before. From this achievement, CL continues to reinforce its technological breakthroughs. The company is preparing to roll out its second-generation sodium battery in the latter part of this year, with an energy density of over 200 watt-hours per kilogram. While this is still below today's standard of 300 watt-hours per kilogram for the best lithium-ion batteries, it is a marked improvement from its predecessors 160 watt-hours per kilogram and forcefully illustrates substantial technological advancement. But CL isn't alone in this revolution, other firms around the world are also racing to boost sodium-ion battery production capacity, positioning themselves for what appears to be, you know, an inevitable mass-scale market shift. The question is, therefore, whether or not sodium batteries really are the future of battery science, and if so, what specific hope Robin Zen and the industry in general have for this new technology? Because while lithium continues to dominate the spotlight, Sodium is quietly checking every box that matters, cost, abundance, safety, and scalability. So what exactly makes this humble element such a strong contender in the battery race? The underlying principles of sodium ion batteries are a very basic technological breakthrough. The novel power storage units bear a remarkable resemblance to their lithium-based counterparts, sharing the same structural characteristics and reflecting the architecture of conventional lithium ion batteries. They also possess the same magnitude of round-trip efficiency factors, ensuring that the delivered energy is very much a replica of the input energy at startup cycles. Yet this extremely significant technological advancement is not entirely devoid of inherent limitations. Sodium-ion batteries possess a lower energy density than their lithium-ion counterpart. This particular aspect has until now restricted their everyday application across numerous industries and fields. An apt question still lingers, however, why has the battery industry been taking such great interest in the development of sodium ion technology when it is only nearly as good as the most widely utilized lithium-based options and still carries performance shortfalls that cannot be overlooked? So, a good reason that first comes to mind is sodium itself, an element with many qualities and characteristics that are honestly more than worthy of admiration. Its excellent abundance can readily be observed in the sheer quantities that exist in the vast expanses of the world's oceans. Also, the process used for sodium harvesting is much more accessible and environmentally friendly, pretty much negating the destructive and catastrophic mining techniques currently adopted to harvest lithium and other precious metallic elements. On the other hand, bankruptcy proceedings always affect stakeholder trust and, you know, raise serious questions regarding underlying business realities. The question now is whether this development is merely an exercise in financial maneuvering or if it represents more basic structural issues within the firm. With energy density concerns and falling lithium prices tilting the scales, could this be a bubble just waiting to burst? Or are we simply watching the painful early steps of a revolution in the making? Sodium ion batteries represent an interesting technological frontier in the rapidly evolving electric vehicle landscape. While industry titans CL, BYD, and Natron are at the forefront, my skepticism regarding their short-term viability in EV applications is, well, unflappable. The root issue is energy density. 
a critical metric where sodium ion batteries consistently trail lithium batteries with much lower power to weight ratios. The economic dynamics behind the production of sodium ion batteries present an interesting paradox. Even though they incorporate more affordable materials in their manufacture, the batteries themselves have a higher cost per unit of stored energy due to their lower energy density, and, you know, even though the differential cost that lower cost componentry produces will presumably even out eventually, things are currently quite different. On top of this, the recent sharp 70% fall in lithium prices over the past three years, driven by, well, overproduction, has seriously undermined the economic case for sodium ion technology. More recent academic research offers enlightening data on the present state of sodium ion battery technology. In February of 2025, Columbia University's Dr. Dan Steinart reported findings in Science Magazine indicating a fundamental scalability issue. Sodium ion manufacturers today do not have the requisite manufacturing scale to take advantage of economies of scale. This perspective was reinforced by a January 2025 Stanford analysis of the commercial viability path for SIB's sodium ion batteries that concluded that becoming Costco competitive is highly unlikely. Moreover, lithium continues to be the market leader in many industrial applications due to its existing base of supplies and manufacturing infrastructure. Even with sodium ion batteries offering plug-and-play compatibility, altering both production and consumer preference will take some time. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle. Sodium batteries won't realize cost savings until they're mass-produced, but they may never be mass-produced unless they're already cost-competitive. This catch-22 is a significant barrier to mass adoption. Despite this, SIBs have a potentially unique place in the technology landscape. While many other emerging battery technologies are still mired in laboratory testing or several years from production, sodium ion batteries are already beginning to launch their market. Aided by some of the world's most influential and deep-pocketed battery producers including the likes of Cattle BYD and a growing consortium of international partners, this remarkably compressed deployment timeline for sodium ion technology places them in an exceptionally favorable position on the technological readiness level particularly for specific high-value applications. For battery energy storage systems or BESS that are designed for stationary uses like grid storage backup power for renewable energy farms or industrial power management, sodium ion batteries perhaps receive a near-perfect level 9 score. Their inherent advantages of superior safety, a critical factor when storing massive amounts of energy in a confined space, coupled with excellent thermal stability and cycling performance at a potentially lower cost, make them an almost ideal candidate for revolutionizing how we store energy on a large scale. For these best-use cases, the slightly lower energy density is really a negligible trade-off compared to the profound benefits of safety, abundance, and cost predictability. However, their score is slightly lower, though still promising for other uses, most notably in the demanding arena of passenger electric vehicles where energy density and weight are paramount concerns. While sodium-ion batteries certainly face big hurdles to clear, namely achieving cost parity at scale, continuing to improve energy density, and building out a resilient manufacturing supply chain from the ground up, their issues appear to be fundamentally more solvable and more immediate than the daunting long-term material science challenges facing other next-generation battery technologies currently in the works, such as lithium-air or lithium-sulfur batteries. The problems with sodium ion are largely problems of engineering, scaling, and economics, not of fundamental physics or discovering new elemental chemistry. This path, while steep, is a known quantity. If they can successfully scale these barriers through continued investment, manufacturing innovation, and iterative design improvements, sodium ion technology can be the crucial, transformative change our global energy system so sorely requires. It promises to democratize energy storage by decoupling it from volatile lithium supply chains and geopolitical constraints, making sustainable power more accessible, affordable, and secure for nations around the world. It could finally provide the missing link for a fully renewable grid and accelerate the transition to electrification across all sectors of the economy. That being said, what's your opinion? We've navigated the compelling advantages, the abundance of salt, the enhanced safety profile, the rapid progress in energy density, and the backing of industry giants. But we've also weighed the significant counterpoints. The relentless pressure from falling lithium prices, the current economic paradox of higher cost per energy unit, and the critical catch-22 of manufacturing scale. 
Do you believe sodium ion batteries have sufficient potential to overcome these formidable challenges and gain real substantial market traction beyond niche applications? Will they become a mainstream pillar of the electrified future, or will they remain a complementary technology in the shadow of lithium's established dominance? The industry is betting billions on the answer. Thank you for watching.